the Great Western Way. Duck worked hard while Percy was sent to work at the New Harbour. While he was working, the big engines did their best not to take advantage of him after last time. One night, Edward came to the shed. He heard what Percy and Duck did and was very impressed. I've heard that you gave the big engines a good lesson taught, he said. Yes, smiled Duck. It's all how they do things on the Great Western Railway. And he explained to Edward what he had told Sir Topham Hatt. Very true, said Edward. The next day, Duck had to do some utility work on the main line. He dropped off his cars at Crosby and was about to go to Edward's station to find the turntable when he heard James's whistle. Then there was trouble. Steam began hissing all over like fire spreading across a forest. His driver had to stop the train at once. The steam pipes have jammed, said the driver. We can't go any further. Oh dear, said James. Now what should I do? I'm going to be late and the passengers will be cross. I can help, said Duck. I'll pull you to the next station and take the passengers all the way to the big station at the end of the line. James thought it sounded like a splendid idea. Duck coupled up to James and pulled him all the way to Edward's station. Duck knew he mustn't be late. So he raced to the station as fast as he could. At last he arrived at Edward's station. He shunted James into a siding and took the coaches all the way to the big station. As soon as he arrived at the big station, the passengers got out and gave him three cheers. Sir Topham Hack was impressed too. Good work, Duck, he said. You show me today that you can do things the great western way. It feels good to help out, sir, said Duck. After that, Duck... Gordon, James, and Henry are now good friends. And even though he can endlessly talk about the Great Western Way, he's still a really useful engine.